Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a watt meter from Feedback Electronic and it's called EW604. So this is of course for AC mains but it will actually do a lot more than just AC mains. I think it's rated all the way from 10 hertz to kilohertz, right? So, um, you of course set your amps and your volts, and then it will multiply voltage with amps and then display watts. And that is how it works. Super, super smart. Set zero meter reverse. Okay. Imagine you can use this all the way from uh, five volts, huh? And amps all the way to ten amps. Ooh, that is tough to. Uh, this one is not moving at all. Uh, but that's actually the range I need anyway, but okay, I need to open and clean the contacts first. And I actually read the manual. So they say something about you pull the handle and turn the handle and then when the handle is pointing to the front, then you just pull. And then you should be able to pull the handle away and that is how you open the shaft this uh, cabinet but i think we also got some screws here so maybe i should just try the screws instead of using violence yeah i was right about two things here well the first one was not to read the manual because the manual say you just pull that is not true you're not able to pull i don't know you need to pull insanely hard to pull off this. Maybe you could have done that, but I had the idea of sticking in a screwdriver and then just click it out. That was so much easier. And then you access those two hidden screws. And then it should work, right? So yes, that worked. We are in. And the big PCB is mounted at the top, and that prevents us to go down to the switches. And everything here is yeah, directly in the PCB. And that is a very good way to avoid wires and stuff in production, so that is not so, not so bad. So that will be the mains input and a power transformer to power everything. There's a nice isolation barrier between mains and all the secondary stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is how it's done. Well, well, I need to take it out of the cover entirely. Oh yeah, by the way, did you see that one? What do you think about that track? in the middle of the picture right here. Isn't that just beautiful? What is going on? <laughs> After a little bit of contact cleaning and a little bit of massage, both of my switches, they turn really nice around and good clickety-click and good feel. So I really think it's time to uh, power this up. But before I do that, I would like to show you a few really cool things. Of course, this is only a watt meter. It don't even read out volts or current or anything like that on the meter. It's only displaying watts. So that is a little bit annoying. I think it could have been cool to know if your volts or, or current is within range or something like that. But but anyway, here is the the voltage 
divider and of course it's easy you know always you always know what kind of voltage range you're in right so so for mains kind of stuff you have to put it for 500 because 200 is too low because we live in 230 volts country right and then it's just to experiment with the amps until you have a good reading so that is exactly what i want to do but i want to show you <laughs> the amp sense circuit. So of course, the red wire here just goes directly um, through the two red. So current is that one. The black one here goes to the sense resistor and then to a 10 amp fuse and then back to the other terminal. So far, so good, right? But now, let's look at that sense resistor. So that's just a resistor, right? And look what they've done. They've even welded the wire to each end of the sense resistor and then carefully twisted the signals like this. And then it goes through a hole and then up again and look at the wires here, or the tracks. And then one of them goes like this. Via all these resistors and then amplify and all that kind of stuff. So this is, of course, the current sense um, system. But I, I really find this a little bit crazy, the way that this is made. Because why is it done like this? and then super twist it all the way and the tracks like that when you have a long wire here that is not balanced and twisted and nice and then this entire circuit is also completely not balanced like the idea probably was with all this twisting and turning that is definitely a funny funny design but other than that it's just op amps and uh, the schematic and the, the manual explains that everything is done uh, in yeah analog multiplying blah 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 not that interesting there's uh, not a lot of uh, stuff to talk about about that circuit really so let's uh, let's uh, try and power it up so I've set up everything my 60 volt bulb I really like the the configuration input and output. It makes it real nice and easy to understand the circuit and it's not confusing as it is with other watt meters where you need to couple things and you can do all sorts of weird things with it. So this is powered up and um I've just put my I should probably put my current range for one amp, right? and 500 volts and uh, here's the zero it is a little bit sensitive Ooh -hoo -hoo. Hmm. so how do you how do you see this what's but it Hmm. Amp range. I am in one amp, right? Hmm. Let's try and see what happens. Yes, that is definitely 60 watts. Okay, so that is how it works. My one amp and 500 volts. I mean, that is 500 watts full range, isn't it? So I don't understand where's 500 for full range. And then this is 60. Uh, that is, of course, 5 and then... So it's probably correct, but I just find it a little bit weird. So if I go down to a half an amp or... A, ah, my current is uh, 0.27 for 60. So if I dial this down here, we should probably see an LED here. Uh, the overload amps. Let's, let's try and see. No. 
that is weird we don't see overload LED here because as you can see here my Kirin is 0.27 amps so why don't I see I don't understand that and here is my 60 watts so I think it works but you really need to know what kind of watts you're using because uh, it's complicated isn't it I think I managed to figure this out okay since this unit is analog it is not super critical about the 200 you can of course come with 230 it's not a big problem as long as the amps is not too much at the same time obviously you can't put it down in 220 or something like that i guess but 200 volts times 0.5 that is 100 watts full scale right so if this is 100 watts this is about 60 watts and now it makes perfectly sense it works of course right so yeah definitely it works it was a little bit weird with the voltage i had the idea i could be in the in that range but i think the overload is a thing so what you do is we can also demonstrate what happens if i go down one more see that means I'm not following the rules and then I go back and I think it is the same with the amps yes here we go then there's a load here but I am already overloading because I am 0.27 is is my current consumption so it is a little bit funny isn't it all right thank you very much for watching that was it see you around bye bye